Hello everyone in this video. Let us take a look at this question asked on the community and this is again uh, a question that is uh, very common. People want to do these kind of things when they want to use Jira, when they have decided that Jira is the tool for them because everyone is using Jira, Jira is great and when, when, when people start using a tool like Jira, they want to make sure that other tools are able to talk to their Jira cloud instance. Now this question, if you look at this question, it is all about uh, how we can integrate Jira service management cloud with MS SQL DB server. So this is of course a bit uh, uh, unclear what this user is trying to do because uh, <clears throat> in the in the summary, in the uh, title of the question, uh, this, this user is saying that uh, the requirement is to integrate Jira and uh, MS SQL Server, but he mentioned cloud here in the summary, but in the actual question he's saying Jira version 8.16.1. So in both the cases, I mean, we're talking about uh, doing something between Jira and uh, database, and it could be Jira cloud, it could be Jira server or data center. So let us talk, talk about both. So if we are talking about uh, let us say Jira on uh, server or data center. This can be done using three ways, mainly three ways. One is of course using uh, Java API. The second option is using REST API because we do have REST API on server as well. And third option is uh, doing it directly from Jira database, which is of course not recommended, but it is possible. So uh, you have three ways to read data from Jira. And uh, my recommendation would be to use, of course, uh, script runner for Jira because you're using script runner for Jira on server or DC. You can ut utilize Java APIs or REST APIs, or you can also make uh, queries di directly to the database. And then you can dump your output or whatever you want to read. Maybe you want to read data from a JQL filter, a JQL or a filter. <laughs> filter is a JQL, but using a JQL, or you can actually have your own criteria. But so, so basically using Scriptna, you can do this quite easily. On cloud, the only possibility that you have is of course REST API. Now good good thing about REST API is that REST API is a standard. You have, you have capability in every programming language where you can uh, interact with REST API. And the whole idea of REST API is to make two systems talk to each other. And that is the whole because when you, when you when humans interact with computer, they do it using browser or terminal, if you're like me. But uh, when when we have to make two systems talk to each other, we have to use REST API, which is, of course, one way of doing it. But uh, for Jira Cloud, you have REST API and uh, do that using uh, whatever programming language you are comfortable with. For example, if you want to learn how to do it, you can actually go to my website, ravisaga.in, and of course, I'm doing a bit of self-promotion, but why not? Uh, so this video is sponsored by me. So if you go to courses and if you go if you go to Mastering Jira REST API, this particular link, you will find a lot of uh, examples of interacting with Jira using a REST API, either using Talent API Tester, which I use, or Postman. I don't really use Postman. I mean, I can, I, I should try maybe, but the concept is same, but I also have uh, plenty of examples of doing this interaction using uh, shell script. So you can also do that if you have to maybe, uh, maybe if you are comfortable using shell scripting, you can maybe, you know, write a script to dump something in CSV. For example, if you look at this example here, I have uh, uh, written a script where you can uh, dump the list of projects into a CSV file. And uh, of course, when you're doing things using shell scripting, you can always you know, write more code to dump directly to a table, to your MySQL or uh, whatever database you're using. So there are plenty of plen plenty of uh, uh, possibilities when it comes to interacting with Jira using, let us say, REST API. So I would still ask this user, which I have asked in the answer, that what exactly this user is trying to achieve. Are we talking about integration? Are we talking about reporting? Because if 
you are let us say trying to do reporting then my recommendation would be to use an app like evbi for example to basically generate those reports quickly and uh, if you want to integrate jira to a, another tool then there might be an app for doing that so do take a look at uh, marketplace in case you are trying to do something which might already exist and that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye